Interesting. What an interesting, whoo, what an interesting time going on right now. I've been away for a while because I've been going through some things. Uh, I've been uh, in the hospital in ICU. Uh, I almost died, for real, I almost died. You know, thank you, honey, for letting me, for, I won't say letting me, but uh, highly encouraging me. To go to the hospital when I did. The irony is, I gotta tell, cause all this is just, I mean, this, okay, first off, my channel's gonna be changing, sorta kinda, but basically is is I'm just being me. I'm just being V. I'm just being V. And I'm just gonna talk about my life and my story and the things I go through. And if you can get something out of it, fine. I might do some tarot. I might not. It's whatever I feel like doing. Whatever I feel like doing. So number one, I can have a story and I can have a, um, you know, a, a history or history on myself. We always checking into everybody else's stuff, but we don't really do any type of records on our own. And then we allow our story to be written by somebody else who will fuck it up every time. That's why I always encourage you, do a story or journal about your own life. Now, the funny thing is when I say that, you got those people who will do that, but then they'll turn around and try to copy me. And so you're not doing it about your life. You're doing it like it's your version of who I am. And one thing you can't do is you can never be me. Never, ever, 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 ever. I don't, I don't care if you think you got that shit down to a science. You can never, ever in your wildest dreams be me. I don't even know how I'm me. The only person you will ever, ever be is you. That's the only person you will ever be, real talk. So I'm just saying, you know, this is uh, gonna be the journal of my life. You know, you can come back and forth and check out my really cool stories. Uh, reality, I mean, it's real reality because it's my reality, it's my, my story. Like I said, just being me. But, um, I've been off of YouTube for a minute because I, I went to the hospital. I had some blood pressure problems. Please, if you guys have got blood pressure, let me tell you something. That it's real. Blood pressure is the silent killer. It is the silent killer. I've been playing around with blood pressure for a minute because I just kind of went in denial about it. But, you know, I did, in my mind, thinking I'm doing the right thing, taking the garlic and, 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 and eating healthy. So, I mean, look at me. I'm not, like, you know, huge or anything like that. But it, it doesn't matter. Blood pressure doesn't give a fuck about you know, your, your weight, clearly. Uh, th these are factors. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Your weight, that is a factor. But, uh, of course, I've been on, like, a lot of stress. I don't be thinking I'm under a lot of stress. But all my friends say, like, you, you stay stressed. And I'm saying, think I'm always on. I'm like a computer that never shuts down. Never shuts down. And so, um, God decided I would shut down. The funny thing about it, when I went to the doctor... When I went to the hospital, when I went to Womack, it was uh, Grammy night. Was that Grammy night? Yeah, it was Grammy night. Uh, Tyler had just finished. Had just, Tyler, the creator, I'm saying Tyler, like you know what I'm talking about. Tyler, the creator, had just finished performing, you know, opening up basically the Grammys. And, uh, I, and I, like, you know, someone was not, not happy with me because I was having some issues sickness or whatever and I wasn't going to the hospital and they were very upset with me uh that night about me not going to the hospital so okay I decided to go to the hospital I was going to go the next day but for some reason because you know that was the same night that Kobe died the same day that Kobe died too and I was feeling very weird you know when Pisces when we get that like ominous super ominous like Something ain't right, something ain't right. This 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 could be an all around tragic day on, on a whole bunch of levels. Let me just take my butt to the hospital. Surprised all my friends because they know I don't go to the hospital anyway, more or less going to the hospital at night. And uh once I got in there, it's kinda like they rushed me right on, you know, they took my blood pressure couples out like the next time I'm bounced in the ICU. This was how critical it was. They had to bring it down quickly because it was so sky high it was, it was so sky high I mean I could have been stroking out all over the place and they had to bring it down quickly but the thing about it is it could kill me either way they couldn't let it go any further 
that had to bring it down, but bringing it down quickly could have killed me. And you know, they're telling me this and that, and you know how people go, to, maybe, I don't know, some of you go into panic mode. I'm a weird type of person. Whenever, you know, I don't panic on them. No, I really don't panic. I take that back. I don't really panic on anything. But when stuff is super, super, super critical, like it was super, super, super critical, and I'm understanding what the doctor said, like, okay, we're going to do this, but, you know, if we don't do something, it could kill you. If we do do something, it could kill you. And I'm like, okay. I was that calm. I was like, okay. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, what are you going to do, right? What are you, you going to do? You're just going to have to ride with the shit. I mean, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Uh, and so uh, I was just like, oh, well, I done fucked up. But you know what? I'm here. Long story short, I'm here. I've had some experiences in the, that I will get to on another video. You know, some of my experiences in being in ICU and some of the nurses and kind of crashing and coming up in there asking me, you know, I guess that's one of the, the typical questions they ask. Who's the president? Who's the president? Make sure that you're into the now. You understand what we're like. Who's the president? I didn't remember who that motherfucker was. But it wasn't because I was like out of it or crashing and burning. And I just don't even think about Trump like that. I mean, he is like so far out of my mind that, that, that I mean, I'm, I like wake up every morning and go, God damn it, he's still president. So I don't even like to think about that. So when they're asking me, I can, I mean, first off, I'm, I'm sleep. The last thing I remember, I was I thought I was asleep or halfway asleep. So I'm halfway asleep. I'm high on meds, and now I got six people. Like, Who's the president? Who's the president? Who's the president? I, I don't give a fuck. Cause I, and I meant that, and I meant that. And then finally, after about ten or twenty minutes of that, I'm like, you know that 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 nigga, that that you know the orange one, the one, the one Pence Pence's partner, the one that, the one that's on TV that should be me in the picture. Like, oh, there she she's back. I never really went away. I just don't give a fuck, y'all. I'm. I kept saying, ask me another question. Ask me another question. I'm just saying to some of you people in the hospital, seriously, have another question in mind other than who's the president. Because some of us really are like so like anal on him not being in our world. I didn't vote for him. He's not my president. It's not even in my logic. That, you know, it doesn't register when we're in that very vulnerable mode. Just, I'm just saying, find another question before you run some, somebody like me and like, like I said, don't give a fuck. So, but anyway, anyway, long story short, I'm here. I'm getting better. I'm coming up with some wonderful ideas. It's been, uh, uh, literally, it's like the worst time and the best time of my life, literally. The worst time. The, 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 it's like, how do you have the lowest of the low and the highest of the high at the same time? But I did. And so I will be sharing it with you. And I love this. And I'm kind of in my cinema noir mode. I'm probably going to be doing this all Pisces season. I might do it all year. I don't know. But we'll see. But um, so this is going to be the story of a su survivor. This is going to be uh, the story of someone who took her life back. This is going to be the story of someone who learned not to give a fuck about other people. Because uh, I do. I give too many fucks about other people. And I've been taught, you know, I've, I've been told, like, don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. And yet I do. I give a fuck about stupid shit. And I don't even know why. I give a fuck when people are copying after me. I give a fuck when people take from me. I give a fuck when people, like, you know, know that they owe me money. And they will come be like, hey, you know, can't you do this? Don't you owe me money? Why are you coming to my face? You don't even know how much it takes right now for me to hold back and not punch you the fuck out. I'm a puncher, I guess. I mean, not so much as a punch. Well, my daddy taught me how to punch when I was, you know, a military brat. So, you know, he didn't, uh, you know, I'm not like Scarlett O'Hara. You do something wrong to me. I'm like, uh, how did, I'm going to punch you in the fucking gut or in the fucking face. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm small, so I know how to pick up shit. I, I pick up a lamp or, or a brick and Harvey. Uh, like Ernest T. Bass. Y'all, all of them know who, you know who Ernest T. Bass is. Anyway, all this is to say, I hope you enjoy the new me and this new channel because it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be interesting. I will be taking, uh, I will be going on a speaking engagement. It's weird because of speaking again, I'm going to be just different. It's different. I'm, I, I used to call myself a poet, but I'm so much more than a poet. Well, I'm a broadcaster, too. So I'm a broadcaster, edutainer, poet, speaker, comedian. I'm funny as shit. Please believe I am funny. I am hilarious. Humor helps to helps the healing. It does. Humor helps the healing. So I have learned. Well, not learned. I'm just, you know, like chapter 
tapped into my other side and decided to be more funny than be more angry because you know anger raises your blood pressure too so it's like it doesn't pay for me to be angry so some of you don't go oh, uh, anger man we just gonna make her angry don't do that to yourself notice I said don't do that to yourself because what you do will come back to you and if you knew what's behind me you really not you really wouldn't fuck with me like that you really wouldn't you really wouldn't I'm sorry baby I still curse I'm a military brat I curse a bit like, why you gotta curse because I do if you love me, get used to it. So, uh, I'm not going to do it that much, though. So, we'll work on that, too. See, we'll, this, this also be, you know, a part of me, like, saying, like, oh, can I learn to do things and not curse? <laughs> Maybe I can. Maybe I'm not. So, welcome to Just Being V. And, uh, I, I, at least I'm going to try to do some stuff once or twice a week. So, we'll see. You know, I'm a Pisces. I could do something... Hey, ducky wuckies. I know they're not ducks. I know they're geese. I know the difference between geese and ducks. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes because we're just going with the flow. And I'm just here to, I'm just glad to be here, yo. I mean, because life is beautiful. Life is, we take so much for granted that when you're about to check out, all that shit doesn't matter. All that shit doesn't matter. People can say, I just want to do right by the Lord. Fuck that shit. You think about, I just want to be at the beach. And I wish I had enjoyed the beach more. I wish I had enjoyed this person more. And I wish I had told this person. I love, and I, you know. And so now I'm here. And I'm not going to miss this opportunity. I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to love who and what I want to love. And I'm just being me. Just being me. So maybe I can encourage you to be you too. That's what this journey for me is about. And if you relate to it, then I guess it's a journey for you too. So until next time. Soul sister paradigm shift just like Doug Mug told you I get ya. Hit you with the beat, guaranteed to make your head bob. And then proceeding with the little knowledge drop. Written with some real talk, real hip hop. Suckers try to kill it, but the soul would never stop. Freeing your mind as the rhythm flow. Yeah, that's the way the super soul sister wrote. Oh, oh.